Just saying, I don't have normal Sundays. I'm going down to collect some dung beetles for sound ear engineer recordings. Thanks to your fresh manure last night. Ah, oh, I know it's very boring. Anyway, and I have my assistants. All my assistants are here. Yes. Come on, pups. Come on. Yes. Come on. It's scary. The horses are scary. Oh, yes. They're very scary. They're big feet. Oh, you're getting good. Okay. Let's see how many dung beetles I got for a Sunday morning. I'm also cooking a Sunday lunch for a whole bunch of cousins are coming over. So it's a Sunday lunch. That's a fresh pile of manure. Yowza. Okay. But let's see if the traps have caught anything. Please, please, please. And the other thing I'm really hoping is that the holes worked in the dung beetle trap because we've had a lot of rain this morning. See, they already know where we're going. Okay. Oh, yes. I know. I know. So there are potential holes. There's a hole right there and a hole right there. So there's at least two dung beetles in this trap. I'm not expecting the dung beetles trap to have as many as it did before, just because, just because we're further into the dung beetle season and most of them have uh, come out. Okay, can you move? So let's see how many dung beetles there are. Okay, not very many. One, uh, only one. Oh dear. Okay, luckily, there were some that I caught last night. So there's a dung beetle. So luckily, there's more in here that I caught last night. That's one. So no more dung beetle in here. That's annoying. Okay. I wonder if there's any inside the manure. This is old manure. It's not fresh, but you see that hole is a perfect dung beetle hole. And there's no dung beetle. But it went through to the trap. So I might rebate these checks tra traps for another um, my kneeling pad so I don't get soaking wet. Okay, let's go to the next trap. I had six dung beetles from last night, or seven. So let's see. Up oh, there's definite hole there. That's definite access point. So, and that's another access point. So hopefully there's at least two in here. One, two, three! Yay! So one, two. Three. So that's three dung beetles in that trap. Dumped in the bucket. Oh, here, I'll turn you over. I won't be that cruel to you. There you go, my friends. Okay, no more in there. Put that back. So that's three. So there's about ten dung beetles or more in there now. final trap. Hopefully there's, there won't be the 40 that I had that first successful dung beetle night. Okay, maybe one, maybe two. Okay, maybe two dung beetles in this trap. Let's see. There's one, two. Two dung beetles. So two babies. They're not babies, actually. They're adults. So, there we go. Two dung beetles in my manured bucket. So, I will relay these traps for the, today, but it's highly likely I won't get any more dung beetles just because they prefer nighttime travel. So I'm gonna go and collect fresh manure 
Hey kitty, are you coming to do a dung beetle inspection? Now mind your tail in the electric fence. Yeah, be careful. Yeah, lower your tail. Are you coming? Yeah. Oh, you missed. Your tail hit the fence. Up. Oh. Okay. Radio. Yes, how are you? I better close this up. I don't want to lose my precious cargo for the record engineer. Oh, I missed. She was rolling. Never mind. I always miss crucial moments, it seems, recently. Miss Daisy Rose. And Mr. Java. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, Rebate these traps now and that takes two hands so i'll stop filming so i'm not overly concerned that we didn't catch very many because last night this was a fresh pile of manure obviously and that's evidence of a dung beetle there and as i walk over here there's more evidence of dung beetles that were here during the night so just because i didn't catch loads doesn't mean there aren't loads some of the evidence isn't really shown very much above the ground. But there you can see, that's evidence of a dung beetle there. Let's see, there's evidence of a dung beetle here. There's one there, one there, one there. You can see that hole. And they just avoided the traps, clever things. So, let's see. There's more dung beetle. Here's evidence of dung beetle. There's one there, one there. Loads of dung beetles. Isn't that right, pup? So the dung beetles are doing their job. And you're doing your job laying down fresh manure for dung beetles. But it's not just dung beetles. It's for bats, hedgehogs, badgers, birds, and other insects and the soil, isn't that right? Your manure is so precious. She loves her being scratched right there. Don't you? You good girls. Yes. She wants her chin scratched. She loves being scratched right under her jaw. So right under there. And you were wanting it too. There. The one place a horse can't get to unless they have a stick. Oh, you're gonna knock me over. Unless they have a stick or something. Oh, you're so good, aren't you, Grasshopper? You're such a lovely girl. Mm. You smell so good. Yes. I love the smell of horses. Yes. You, oh, you didn't like that, okay. Sorry, but you do like that. <laughs> okay, my dung beetle manure feeders. You good girl. Yeah, up. Oh. Not necessarily good for my neck. I'm trying to heal my neck. Can you not bollocks me head around so much? Thank you. <laughs> see, she's trying to <laughs> scratch under her chin. Yes. She's such a beautiful girl. Aren't you? Mm. Anyway. <laughs> I think my horses are bored of dung beetles. <laughs> dung beetles. <laughs> so now to pick some tomatoes for Sunday lunch. There's plenty here to pick. All different kinds of ripe tomatoes. This is what I've got so far. So I've got to keep picking. 
more and more tomatoes. I'm gonna have to start doing some for uh, the freezer soon. I'm also going to have to, um, come on. Uh, this isn't gonna work. I can't pick with scissors in my hand at the same time. Anyway, there's, these are so lovely. These are Dr. Pink somebody that um, I was given and I love them. So I'm gonna be seed saving some of these. I've gotta save tomato seeds because this is a rare heritage breed or type. So this is just a common tigerella. And all those, look, some very ripe ones in there. And oh, look at these. These are jewels, absolute. They're like sweeties eating those, really like sweeties. Okay, no, you're not to eat my tomatoes. So I've got to use two hands to trim off some tomatoes. Some of them, there are loads of ripe ones in there. So beautiful looking out at all these black-eyed Susans. Anyway, I've uh, chopped a lot of tomatoes. These are for pasta sauce. But you see, this one is split here. It's really, really ripe. So I save those ones. This one's split here. So I save those really split ones. You can see there's several of them that um, to make, um, oh, hello, you. <laughs> Those are gonna be saved for making um, seeds. So look at some of the size of these tomatoes. Look at the size of that, monster tomato. And these are the pasta tomatoes. And then here's one of those pink ones. These are so beautiful. I wanna save some of those. These are the pink ones. This is a pink one. So they are over here. Let's see if there's any that I could, they, what you tend to want, my understanding is you tend to want your tomatoes to be slightly overripe when you're gonna save the seeds because then you know the seeds are fully mature. So, um, here's, Oh, look, that's quite ripe. And that's quite ripe. Okay, and that's splitting, so perfect. So I'll put these aside for saving seed. Oop, this little one's quite ripe. So I'm gonna save these. Save these for saving seeds and leave them here on this window ledge. And then I will slice them up, gut them, and um, sieve their seeds through. So that's the beginning of my seed saving pile. There's some cucumbers for Sunday lunch with the cousins. Oh no! That will need washing. Don't worry, everything gets washed. So there we go. Okay, and you've come inside now. Is that what you've decided to do, come inside? Okay, off to do Sunday lunch now. Oh no, I'm dropping cucumbers everywhere. Oh, there we go. I'll stop filming and carry them independently. You can see here's my pile of um, tomato leaf cuttings. See, there's a lot more air circulating around them. I still have lots to do, but um, there we go. And the poor cucumbers, it's been such a cold summer. Next to this door, they all caught a cold, so my cucumbers aren't doing very well this year, which is very sad. Some years they're really good, and some years they're not. Isn't that right, pup? Yeah, yeah. You don't like walking across the cute the tomato leaves, do you? <laughs> <laughs> you leapt over that. Whereas some people are like, hmm, no, it must be, there must be a prickliness that they feel. <laughs> the tomato leaves. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, there, beautiful view of tomatoes and black-eyed Susans out the vine house window. So here's one of the dung beetles that we're recording in this bucket. And you're doing, you're using a double mic. Why are you using a double mic? I'm using a double mic so we can get a, a stereo image. So it's nice, it brings a little bit of life to it. So, you know, if you've just got one, it's, it's great, it's a little featured sound. But if you have two mics, you know, this kind of drama style, really, I could be doing it a lot easier. <laughs> but, but it's the mics are what, are what are important. And these are very quiet mics, they're Sennheiser mics, but it'll give you, the double mics will give you a stereo image. You know, there's various different techniques of that you can do, but they'll give you a stereo image. And so you'll feel much more like you're in, in the, bucket. The, bucket with with, the bucket with the dung beetles munching away. So in and the there's dung, in the, the dung, dung with the dung beetles. So, yeah, and, and there's... Uh, they've, they've performed. They've performed Very really nice. well. They've been stars it's fantastic. yet again. Yeah. The dung beetles. Good old... Whoops. Into the dung. There we go. Superb. Put it up here. We put it up here and... The term is that it's so they pumped. Will, they will fly from there, right? They will fly from there. Not from, your hand. Not from my hand. Fly from there. Fly from here. They'll okay. fly from here. This so one is pumped. And meaning they're pumped is their wings are already spreading. So this one is pumped. Okay. So I'm going to roll there now. Yeah. Tell me when you're ready Hopefully and rolling. The trick is to see if his abdomen is pumping. Okay, he's face washing and he's beginning to pump his abdomen. <laughs> 